Welcome to Hands-On with Reinforcement Learning by Rudy Lai and Pax Publishing. So this course we're going to talk about the concepts of reinforcement learning. The main tools we're going to use is Python and in particular using OpenAI Jim and the TensorFlow package to do a lot of the machine learning heavy lifting for us. A little bit about me. So my name is Rudy I have six years of experience in data science, particularly deep technical experience with quantitative trading and statistical modeling. And I'm currently building QuantsCopy, which is a natural language generation technology that could write sales emails. Let's have an overview of this course. This course is separated into eight sections. Uh, we have a timeline here. In the first section, we're going to have an introduction to everything that we're going to cover. We're going to start with understanding reinforcement learning in the context of OpenAI Jim. In the second section, what we're going to take a look at is deep diving into the core pillars of reinforcement learning and explaining a little bit more about the theory and how it relates to different API calls within the OpenAI Jim. We then go to a very classic and very basic example of reinforcement learning, the multi-armed bandit. We go to then the contextual bandit, which is a slightly more advanced version of the multi-armed bandit. And then with, with those four sections, we've pretty much covered the basics of how reinforcement learning works. And so we dive into dynamic programming in section five, which is the first real approach to solving reinforcement learning problems. And there you learn about how we, what is control, what is prediction, and what is value approximation. In the sixth section, we're going to look at neural networks and how they can power the reinforcement learning process. To do that, we also have to understand the theory behind Markov decision processes. In section seven, we're going to look at model-free prediction and control with Monte Carlo. So that's a step up from dynamic programming where we do not need a model of the environment, but we can predict what's going to happen to the environment with another model. In the last chapter, we're going to look at something called temporal difference. It's an evolution of dynamic programming. It has some of the benefits of dynamic programming. It has some of the benefits of Monte Carlo and that's the course itself. Prerequisites. So we want to see a basic understanding of Python for the audience of this course. There's also a basic understanding of TensorFlow. We don't assume that there is any reinforcement learning experience before, but having some experience with machine learning is beneficial. The goal of this set of videos is to A, understand OpenAI Jim and how to use it to do reinforcement learning experiments, get a basic feel of how TensorFlow can be used to create smart agents, and then understand some of the bigger concepts within reinforcement learning, i.e. MDPs, dynamic programming, Monte Carlo, and temporal difference. Let's begin. 